Hello folks, seem to be pulling an all-nighter here because it's 20 past 4. I don't think there's any point in me going to bed now. But um, on a previous video I asked the question, what paranormal shows, TV shows, do you watch and why? And uh, a comment just came in about 20 minutes ago here uh, from Todd Andrews. Um, I like the... Holster files. I never heard of those. Kindred Spirit. I heard of those. In fact, most of them on the Travel Channel. I also like Dead Files. That's um, Amy Allen, I think. My name is Amy Allen. I speak to dead people, and they speak to me. Um. I also like the dead files, but I am a little suspicious of the reports of all the negative entities that are on um, virtually all locations. If um, that seems to be a thing with a lot of chan or a lot of the paranormal shows, especially uh, uh, ghost adventures, where they just jump to conclusions and stuff. Um, you know, it's, it seems to be a pattern with them all. Um, uh, to me, it I think it it pulls in views. You know, if the if the hauntings are all so negative, there must be an extreme level of evil hanging around many houses. Uh, so how accurate these TV shows are. In a uh, big question, uh, so how accurate these TV shows are is a big, uh, big question. But I am sure many of them uh, are genuine investigators. Well, you know, I mean, like a lot of these people that are on paranormal shows, they started off, you know. They start off with a with a background of the paranormal. Um, either that, if they haven't started off with the paranormal, they have some sort of um, history of television. But a lot of these people that go into the the paranormal TV shows have um, excelled from somewhere else in the paranormal field. You know. Um, Ghost adventures tend to uh, exaggerate the reactions, but otherwise is an uh, interesting and entertaining TV show. I watch Ghost Adventures. You know, I I, I like the I like the uh, the equipment aspect of it. I like the history. I'm not too fond of the reconstructions. They're very gory and stuff. I'm not into that kind of stuff. Um. Even though I don't take it seriously, it was one show that sort of pushed me into this YouTube channel, you know? Um, and I was further down the line uh, doing it myself when, you know, I sort of realised that, you know, this doesn't happen, or this doesn't happen everywhere you go to. Otherwise, more of us would be reporting paranormal activity like that, you know, um, and it just doesn't work like that. It sort of it gets it gets your it gets your interest it get it gets your interest going, you know, um, you know, and I, I you know I can bet a lot of people, you know, started paranormal YouTube channels from the lights of TV and ghost adventures and stuff like that. All these paranormal shows, IMO, do get occasional evidence. Well, you know, I mean, I have to go into a, a location and they're calling out and stuff like that. You know, they are going to get stuff. The only thing is, when you're on a TV show, 
and you have a film crew, a sound crew and all the rest of it and you spend uh, a long time travelling and spend all that money on equipment and stuff going to a place and travelling all that distance and you know spending two nights in a place or whatever you don't want to come home with nothing because people don't want to watch that's the thing you know um, the reality is different than the TV shows it's kind of um, the reality is kind of accelerated in a kind of a way you know yes a lot of these things can happen some of these things possibly do happen uh, on the TV shows but not everything I don't think you know um, you, you know people people's expectations um, you know coming from watching TV shows at home to doing their own uh, investigating on on, 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 a, on a YouTube channel start off with very high expectations because their expectations are heightened by the TV shows and then reality kicks in you know uh, where are we oh yeah Order of Magnitude, there's this channel called Life After Life TV Productions. Uh, watch that one sometimes. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, Terry Roo. Um, big shout out to Terry. He uh, he comments a lot, an awful lot. Uh, I don't watch any paranormal TV shows, to be honest, as I... Do not believe it's honest, reliable evidence. Uh, it's more theatrical, in my opinion, and purely aimed at TV ratings. That's what I just said, yeah. TV, TV ratings, you know. But the other side of the coin is, the other side of it is, Yes, it's over exaggerated. Yes, it's it's some you know some of it's fake, but it sparked a lot of people's interest. You know it. You know, I enjoy watching a handful of YouTubers, such as yourself, who keep it real. As keeping it real is the key. Thanks very much. I really appreciate that. Um. when you said handful you know that's <laughs> that's exactly what I, what I watch is a handful you know uh, because you have the investigators that go out the go out their their sole purpose is to go out and get evidence for themselves before youtube you know uh, youtube is only a for some of them, YouTube is just a place to put their stuff that they can watch it and possibly educate others kind of thing. The problem is a lot of, a lot of channels, a lot of channels, YouTube ends up being a priority. Uh, once they get monetized and they have a way of making money, um, and sometimes that creeps in and takes over and that's unfortunate you know and to be honest a lot of the fake channels and the entertainment channels uh, get more airtime than we do and then some of the people that are genuine end up having to put click clickbait titles and, and thumbnails just to get them to watch do you know you know there is channels out there with really off the wall thumbnails and titles and you go into their video and you know they're putting out real stuff but they just they're just pulling they're they're trying to get the audience in and then educating them which is a which is a good thing it's just a, it's sometimes it's that necessary even the evil to get people to watch um you know personally i don't I don't I choose not to do the clickbait and that and it's just it's just that's what I that's what I what I do I do I, you know I don't like 
associating scary with the paranormal. You know, the reason why paranormal is sort of linked to scariness is, is the human mind is afraid of stuff we don't understand. Uh, exploring the afterlife ETA, there are a couple of comments here. Some of these, some of the equipment that they use, and even some experiments are interesting. Lindsay, um, I think uh, Lindsay was referring to ghost adventures and maybe some of the other other TV shows in general. Yeah, I, I mean, like, with Ghost Adventures, I'm interested in, I'm sort of interested in something new that Bill Chappell has cooked up, you know, sort of thing. Just, you know, it's it's, it's just a, a, a little bit interesting, you know. Um, let me see, what did I reply there? Yeah, I just said there, uh, I like Bill Chappell coming up with something. Um... Uh, ETA has come back on. Uh, I've watched all of the TV shows at one point. Uh, was was Ghost in the Hood, the three brothers, they were funny, the, uh, um, the scream. Uh, Ghost in the Hood, they were, um, I think, African Americans and there was... I think it was two brothers and a cousin, I think, and I think the cousin was a comedian and that, and he sort of, even when he, when he was scared, he tried to compensate being scared uh, by taking the piss, and sometimes it came out really funny. And then they say at the end, well, you know, we're not just going to leave it there, we're going to try and help these people that were... Uh, you know, we're investigating their home. Uh, we need to help them out here and 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 help rid the the ghost. And they'll come up with something. They'll come up with something daft. You know, um, didn't take it a while serious and that. It was just to me that was a comedy show, Ghost in the Hood. You know. Oh, uh, ETA has come up with whoa, dude, and. My reply was, bro, dude, holy shit, dude, it, it said demon, bro, I'm shaking, dude, this is, this was a bad idea, bro, um, yeah, that's, that's, um, that's Aaron of Ghost Adventures. Juan B, I, Sam, I used to love watching Ghost Adventures too, I also watch... Carnation Street, but that's another story, uh huh. Um, I replied, I think Carnation Street is more scary than Ghost Adventures these days, which is true. There's a lot of negativity in these soaps, I, I, I stay a mile away from them. Uh, Lindsay again, uh, you look amazing, Sam. Glad to see you are a little less in a, in a little less pain. The reason why I look amazing is because I got new lighting. Thank you. Desmond Clean just says thank you. Thank you, Desmond, for the comment. I'm going to butcher his name. Bernie Court. In a the second name is C O U R T E M E N C H E. Uh, I'm not going to even make him pronounce. Sorry that I'm butchering your name. But for me, it's easy to tell if the person is genuine or they're, they're uh, just doing it just to do it and to say uh, they're on YouTube. Nothing drives me crazier when there's a big intro and I'm thinking okay this is gonna be fun and then the content grinds to a halt and it's nothing like the intro would have um, you believe. I guess I may be picky but I think we all are in a some way 
we all are in some way, shape or form. <coughs> yeah, what I what I do, it's 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 harder work. It, you know, um, a lot of YouTubers, right, they make an intro and they use that intro for a certain amount of time and then they'll come up with a new intro. And in that intro, they'll have snippets of a lot of the things they have done in the past and, and a little little bit of a, a montage there. Um, I, I know it's a little bit harder work. I do intros. I'm starting to do the intros again a, a bit. Um, I do an intro based on that particular investigation. So little snippets. Uh, not giving away too much, but just enough to... F it's, a, it's a kind of a... It's a kind of a carrot on a string kind of thing. But usually I'll use the clips of that particular investigation and make a uh, design a intro for that investigation if you know what I mean uh, ghost stories that's Philip and Caroline um, two words live investigation and there was a there was a few people that actually backed you up on that one um, live investigations the reason why people uh, it's 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 a it's a big thing now uh, live investigations people like to get together and talk you know, um, a lot of them, it's, it's to follow the full investigation and that. Sometimes they get sidetracked and they have a little chat about what they bought in uh, Dunn stores today or whatever. But it gets a community together and that, you know, to me, it brings a community together and when you do a live and you do another live you have the same people coming together and you know when you do if you do lives you know uh, once or twice a week on the same day everybody's looking forward to meeting everybody on those days kind of thing and it, you know it really really does work do you know um, I just replied, yes, the last few years, life investigation really took off because people like uh, what, uh, what, what, ha what's, what happens on the, on the moment. Uh, my camcorder can live stream, but I just, uh, I just find it difficult to set up um, and, and reliable internet. Yeah, internet's a bit of a it's a bit of a problem in so in some areas that we do go to, you know, and uh, up and reliable of reliability of internet signal can be an issue, especially especially in old buildings with thick walls. Some people use these travel internet boxes to get their signal from which might help in some of these places i don't see people using them but i was thinking you know right you know you bring a phone down to a basement right and the signal goes all crappy and then the person says well you know if it's buffers guys just refreshing that i'm not too big up on this technology but what if you have one of them travel internet boxes right and you had it at the foot, top of the stairs before you went down to the basement would you not get better signal down in the basement? I don't know. I just don't know. You know, um, you know I've seen an odd few, uh, you know, big live streamers that live streams on locations and they have this, you know, these external batteries and a internet box and all the rest of it like, you know. Uh, John B, I like watching the guy called, that guy called E, E, H. What's his name, order of magnitude. And because I enjoy learning about paranormal tools, I highly recommend paranormal white noise and keep lighting the path. They are beautiful souls. And very honest. 
Yeah, I mean, like, there's some people that are, you know, passionate about what they do and that, and, you know, there are very much people that doesn't like fakery. But most of us don't. Most of us that are doing genuine paranormal investigation doesn't like the fakery. Yes, there's entertainment. If you class your content as entertainment, you can't be... You, people can't be too hard on them. But a certain... A certain uh, social media giant was classing his uh, content as uh, educational. I didn't see anything educational with a, a, a clown made from, from clothes stuffed with plastic bags and tied onto a string and this other, other stunts that were pulled, you know what I mean? My computer has a mind of its flipping own. Why are you doing this to me? I watch... Uh, Nomad, Nomad Sprinter uh, is a comment, a comment. I watch uh, a person by the name of Sam and, or Samantha. Awesome channel. Awesome location. Honest investigations and does run, doesn't run screaming and all you can see is up And doesn't run streaming, screaming, and all you can see is up their nostrils. Uh, you might know her. <laughs> Thank you very much. I didn't part that comment actually. I must get, I must uh, reply to those comments. Uh, Bernie comes back with another comment for me. What I look for is uh, in a ghost genre show is content that doesn't seem overacted. I really like when people take time to investigate in a, an area and when it's edited together it looks smooth and there's a good all point of point to each scene change. Also, I'll, I'll look at the length of the content when someone has been at a location for two days and the whole show is 10 minutes long. I tend to look over it and not give it much attention. I can't tell you why it's just the way my mind works. Um, yeah, a lot of stuff is edited down, so sometimes you don't get a sense of how long they're there, you know? You know? Um, I couldn't care less if you have 10 views or uh, on a stream or video. I, I'm still going to like it if I... I take the time to watch. Oh, uh, the comment worried me. Come back, please. I'll tell you why it's just the way my mind works. I also don't follow the crowd. I could couldn't care less if you if you if your video has ten views or stream or video. I'm still going to like it if I take the time to watch it because um, that individual took their time to be able to put it out there. Um, true, 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 true. Because. Um, some of the, you know, the invest, uh, proper, you know, the proper investigators to go out and they, uh, you know, they put their all into it, like, and you sort of, sometimes you get to know what's, who's genuine and who's not. Um, some of these uh, investigators who turn into YouTubers have the camera turned on themselves all the time. And there could be something kicking off in the corner of the room and they're going to miss it because they want to be seen on camera talk. 
exploring after night life to ETAs back on with another comment the uh, locations the TV shows go to are interesting too um, that's true you know we we get to know and we get to know the history and stuff you know and um, it, it's it's great uh, talking points about some of these um, places you know otherwise we may not uh, hear about them you know another uh, another comment from ETA TV shows are are too much entertainment but are funny to watch Kim Fitzgerald hello Kim Fitzgerald rock fan I don't watch that much TV at all I mainly watch YouTube videos and live chats you know uh, the live the live chats and the YouTube videos in some ways come across more sort of more sort of real because a lot of us that are on this are amateurs you know we're, we're, we're sort of we don't have the we don't have the camera personnel and the uh, audio personnel and that we're going around and very often it's it's one or two people and handheld cameras and it's just it comes across more sort of real if you know what i mean um rather than the perfectly edited scripted uh, storylines you know um a lot of these tv shows have a beginning middle and end like a film you know haunted teen dolls uk shout out to you I hate the channels that say hit the link down below for the merchandise. They only care about making money. That's all they care about. Money and fame. They say it's uh, it goes uh, into making videos, but they already have a camera or a phone to record. LOL. Fair enough. It costs money for petrol or a taxi to the location but some people donate a hundred quid that's a lot of money that is the thing you know that is the fine line between being a youtuber and being a paranormal investigator there's an opportunity to make to make money and 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 to have it as a job but in order to have it as a job you have to be a youtuber and in order to be a youtuber and make money sometimes you have to use what the the youtube experts call a call to action which is guys don't forget smash that like button if you haven't already subscribed please subscribe and don't forget to press the bell button because then you'll be notified every time i upload and also there's a link in the description of my merch which is usually t-shirts and mugs and stuff like that it's a money making thing and then you've got this um members I haven't I signed up to a couple of members and one one of those which is actually ETA delivered the others they took your money but they didn't give you any any they didn't give you any content you know you paid a mon monthly subscription and you didn't get anything uh, ETA you know uh, did do follow up and they do give you content you know they do give you content in members area but it's not like right guys we're in the middle of an investigation we're going to go to members area if you want to see the end of the investigation you're going to have to be a member they don't do that they do in a full investigation and then they'll do an extra bit for you know they'll do an extra bit for uh, the members area 
but they don't do what some people do which I'm not going to mention is halfway through an investigation all right we're going over to members area if you want to see the rest of the investigation I'll have to go to the members area they don't do that and you know thankfully they don't do that but the reason why I don't use members is because I find it hard enough to have uh, content on my regular chat regular content you know um so there's no point in me putting up members when it's i'm not ready for members i i you know i just want to i want to put content out free um in the future i can't say that i will or won't um it's just it's not my thing and and you know the other thing is too is having a members area is that a step towards paying for youtube videos paying to watch you know subscription to watch is that a small step towards that that's the thing Uh, Tara Winter, I like to watch paranormal investigators like you. You tell the truth, you tell it like it is. So many investigators make things up and try to convince viewers that they caught evidence when they didn't. Sometimes you get lucky. Oh, sometimes you get lucky and sometimes you don't. I don't like when investigators harshly provoke spirits. Uh, agree with you 100% there. Then claim it was it is evil when it uh, reacts to their uh, provocation. I stop watching most paranormal investigators because of their abusive techniques. Um, I totally agree there actually you know um, <coughs> you know some people they call names you know they go into an investigation and you know you're oh you're a poltergeist are you you're nothing but a pussy and that I don't do that I, I, I can't I can't now there's a place that I went to that the the owners of the location says well you know there's there's something evil here you know um i went to the into that investigation and i just tr treated the spirits like i treated the owners do you know because i need to get it from the horse's mouth you know so i'm not going to and the other the other part of that is is we're going into investigations and we don't even know if we're communicating with ghosts. We don't know what we're communicating with. Do you know? And we don't know why some things come across as negative. Is it our fear of the miss of of Is it is it the fear of what we can't see? You know? So I, I don't I don't I don't believe in that provoking sort of stuff at all. You know, um, some people do it. Some people do it for attention on YouTube, uh, and no, and known for. It. Some people do it to get a reaction. I would just rather not do it. I, I, I would rather sort of try to treat the spirits like other people. You know, and if they're the spirits of people, they need to be respected. You know, you don't. As well as that, I don't, I don't fancy uh, provoking spirits that I can't see. You know, I just don't know. You don't know what you're dealing with. You know, uh, if a spirit is truly evil, evil, they won't have to provoke it for a reaction. That's true. I like the. Uh, anti clip Investigate. Listen and watch intently as if i am there with you yeah i mean like sometimes um what we do is what we do is we film right we film with cameras we don't live stream we film with cameras uh, we try to get the best quality as possible 
And we don't make a song, sometimes we don't make a song and dance about uh, something, something that comes up. Sometimes I get excited and I will, you know, I will make a little bit of a song and dance about it. But I don't cut the investigation down. If I'm, I'm, if I'm, if I'm recording for four hours, you're going to get a four hour video. And it's going to be like live, you know, I just, the thing is, I've edited down videos before and then I, I didn't review the evidence properly with headphones fully true and the stuff I left out, there was EVPs in them. So you have to be flipping careful what you leave out, you know, you might think you're leaving out bits of nothing, but you have to really go through that piece before you remove it, you know. Um, I'm not disappointed if no evidence is found. That's the reality of real paranormal investigating. Um, well, you know, we go to a place and whether we get stuff or not we still get something out of it because we got ourselves off our backsides and went out and that and uh, we tried you know and you're not going to get you're not going to get you're not going to get um, you know stuff every time you go out you know and you know you're not going to get stuff People are going to graveyards and stuff. It's starting to be a little bit of a, a sort of it's kind of looked down upon kind of thing. I I don't do many graveyards because when we die and and our energy energy can be changed but not destroyed. Why would spirits be hanging around a graveyard? Would they not, if their energy can, if, if their energy releases on the point of death? Then again, you know, you, you have to look up what science tells us kind of thing. You know, very often people just go to graveyards just to get spooked and spook the audience out, Do you know? Then again, there's a lot of history. I did get good, a brilliant EVP in a in a graveyard. Don't get me wrong, like, but some people go out to graveyards to just to, just to make spooky videos, you know. You know, and then you know you got a lot of abandoned places. Just because a place is abandoned doesn't mean it's going to be paranormal, like. I recently went to a factory. If I'd done a paranormal, uh, it was an empty factory. Um, I wasn't going to do a paranormal investigation in that. Because the factory doesn't look that old. You know what I mean? I just, as well as that, it was just full of coal dust. Uh, I especially wa enjoy watching your reviews when you receive new equipment. The gadgets are so interesting, um, and your dog is adorable. Yeah, Phoebe likes to sit on the back of the chair there. Um, when I get a piece of equipment, I you know do a review on it, um, and I sort of um, I'm not sponsored by anybody, so I can I can say exactly what I think. I'm not paid to say good things and that. But sometimes I have a piece of equipment and I review it straight away sort of thing. And sometimes that's not a good thing to do because you might push, you might put out a good review on a certain piece of equipment and then realise a couple of weeks down the line that it's not as good as you think. You know, and very often equipment is just based on a couple of different things. And that's EMF proximity like the you know the trigger that triggers off your lights when you approach your house and uh, REM and a couple of things like that 
when you look at the overall equipment on the grand scheme of things it's not there's not very much to it there's a you know a couple of things you know night vision thermal aura cameras which people don't seem to use and people I can't seem to find one anywhere um you know there's this talk about energy cameras and stuff like that which are very hard to get their hands hands on too but when you think about equipment a lot of it's just based around a couple of different things you know we haven't advanced very much with equipment to be honest with you do you know very often equipment too is based on it was used for something else and that's how we get equipment Uh, Tara Winters, I have always wanted to go to Ireland, but I'm afraid of the ocean, lol. So I find myself watching a lot of videos having to do with Ireland. I also like watching paranormal investigations. Um, that's how I found you. So it's the perfect combination for me. I haven't. Some of these comments are new, so I haven't. I'll, I'll reply to all these comments when I get a chance. Basically, that's it, folks. Um, yeah, I mean, like, t TV shows at the end of the day, the for entertainment. You know, the other side of it, they do encourage, but there is the other side of the coin. Are they giving a false impression of the paranormal? Are people watching TV and say, I'd love to go out and do ghost hunting or paranormal investigating, and then they go out and they go, fuck, we didn't get anything. Are we doing it wrong? Like, And then they figure out that sort of, Nothing's happening, nothing is watching our videos. So, you know, next thing, a little bit of acting creeps in, the next thing they're faking stuff, you know. Um, you know, but, you know, a big... Uh, 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 support for the, the live streams and that. Personally, I don't do live streams because... I'm sort of I'm tittering on the border and stuff and sometimes it just goes out of signal and comes back in and stuff and I'm not into that please refresh of it buffers and that like and next thing you get all the pixelated image you know the the, the, the picture goes all pixelated and stuff it's not what you want if you're doing a paranormal investigating like you know, you want your picture as clear as possible, like, because, you know, you're looking for light anomalies and stuff. You're not going to get light anomalies if your picture goes all squarey and stuff. And then the sound goes all choppy and things like that. Because at the, at the end of the day, your camera can pick up EVPs and stuff as well. So, yeah, you know, um, maybe in the future, maybe I might be live streaming myself, you know, if the technology gets better or stuff like that. Maybe I might try an internet box or something, you know. Um, I know when you go into a place like ta castles with big thick walls, the just signal just goes, you know. I only actually done one live stream outdoors, and that was a couple of weeks ago, and that went pear shaped, you know, because it was on the border and it just it just just kept coming in and out of signal. And I says, this is why I don't do live streams, you know. The thing is, uh, do you know, with, with some people, they, they just live stream and they just put it out there and they don't even review the thing and they just get the viewers to review their evidence. I tend not to do that. I tend to have the... I tend to have the footage do some review on it, on the footage, get it out, and then do more looking into it, you know. And then if 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 people come up, uh, see or hear anything in the comments, uh, to put it in the comments and uh, timestamp it, and then I investigate that individually if I missed it or whatever. But that's that's you know basically what what we do there. But at the end of the day, that's you know we go out. We, 
do things. Um, you know, in the past we've we've made mistakes. We all do. We, it's part of learning, you know. And I, I can look back in some videos and I, I said, "Gee, I can't believe I've done that." And, you know, it's it's cringy and stuff like that. Um, but you know, that's progress. You know, that's that's progress. Thing is, too, I, I came into doing paranormal investigating on YouTube influenced by some people that I shouldn't really have been influenced on you know it's different for Rachel she has she doesn't look at these these other channels and stuff like that you know um so that sort of I've learned a lot from that myself you know from her herself not being influenced by other people and other channels and stuff like that you know but uh yeah I think I'm going to leave it there folks and uh I'll see you in the next one.